Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degrain, and today we continue our Let's Play of Crestorio 2, where we last episode just got our biomass up and running, and our Great Wall of Degrain, or what I want to call it, just got done to protect us from, oh, what seems to be an impending biter attack. So um, let's see if it holds up. And while we wait for that, um, do remember to like this video. And if you're new to the channel, hit that sub button. It will help me out a lot and uh, it'll notify you to, uh, to new videos I put out. So with that out of the way, let's continue with today's episode. Firstly, let's just watch this. <laughs> One of this was like uh, back in Vietnam, just watching people run through the jungle and just machine gun fire. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Damn. But uh, it does seem like our wall is uh, is keeping up uh, towards the fine. We just need to fill in the ammo. But uh, the biters are, from what I understand, or what I think, coming from up here, we have these that's getting touched by the pollution cloud, this massive one right here. So they have to be running all the way down here along um, this uh, edge, up here and through here, uh, trying to kill our base. That is uh, kind of what's going on. Um, yeah, as soon as we get artillery, we'll start to bombard them and uh, be out the way. So, the first thing today is that uh, I kind of want to uh, start a research. And as I said uh, last episode, I also upgraded Crestorio to, what is it, 0.9.9, .9, I think. Or a bit higher than that, I can't remember what came after. But around that, uh, that thing, so we should have uh, some of the new things up and running. So now I want to get some of the military done. Just starting to uh, work towards some of these to get the things flowing. Might give ourselves the second or no, the next armor or get ourselves artillery turrets first. But for that we will need to get explosives. Um, so let's get artillery up and running. In the long run that should save us um, a bit of resources if we can clear out the biters before they get too powerful. Let's also oh uranium armor. That could be good if we're not using all of it. So let's just get this one as well to get a new power armor. And that should be what we start with. So as I said, last episode, oh sorry about that, a little powerful. I uh, updated the mods and uh, let's see if we can get things to flow a bit better up here. I did have a quick check through the change logs, and it does look like we can get things to flow through these now uh, much better. So, um, yeah, they'll flow through whatever's connected to it, not through the pipes to the next one down. So uh, it's quite good we set this up last episode anyway, since we will have to do this, I think, to... Oh, that can actually go, we don't need it up top. But we can get this to flow in correctly. And pretty much just remove this at the top instead. So let's get you away. Let's clear the inventory a small amount. Uh, you can go away. And what else don't we need? Let's do that. Pick up these things and let's remember to get the things on the ground. So the way I want to hook this up is pretty much doing this on both sides. Like we have done already. And that means we'll just have to, I'm guessing, just dismantle this part and hook it up again. Doing pretty much the same setup up here. Getting things hooked up correctly. So you'll have to go right here instead. There. And probably don't need one over here. Oh, we don't. I can already sell that. They're all connecting up. And then we can use this as a blueprint uh, in the one just below. Because I have confirmed that petroleum should flow through these. Uh, let's see here if that is the case. We have no petroleum in them right now. We have some in the pipes and some in this one. And if I am correct, it should start flowing now. Look at that. Things are going. Now I just need to hook up the power. And that is all of these uh, producing biomass. Very slowly. But it will start to supply our uh, military. So let's get this part. Pretty much let's get this and stamp it down down here. 
There we go. That should slowly but surely uh, get things filled out and get all of them to running. Or to run, and then we'll see what kind of uh, numbers we can pull when things are flowing. So that is that. The next thing I want to look at, as soon as I clear out this little biter mess here, there we are, is probably to set up a new little area here. Uh, since we are researching uh, artillery very, very soon, we should probably start to look at what's needed to make all the things we need for artillery shells. And uh, pretty much the only thing we are missing is explosives. So um, I kind of want to set up some production for that. I'm guessing we can make it somewhere. Right here. With sulfur, water and coal. So... Um, now I have to decide if we want to do it in a cell by itself, or we'll get things in other uh, other ways. Uh, like I said, I want to use robots more, so it could be a good time to transition a bit over to uh, to that part. Um, yeah, that means I might start to use uh, empty barrels to fly things around, or we can still have main things flying in here. And don't have uh, bulk things flying in. That is something I'm still debating and something I'll have to uh, to look at. But if we look at explosives, it pretty much just needs water in. So we could make sulfur in one cell, and we could make water flown in or connected up to like a pipe going down the middle to make uh, some of it uh, move around a bit easier. But sulfur is only used for pretty much two things, sulfuric acid we have, and then use for explosives. Um, I kind of want to make a cell making sulfur, transporting that around, and then have water being delivered in some other way. Though if you look at this recipe, water is a lot easier to transport than sulfur is, because that is pretty much two barrels, this is five sulfur, so in terms of items, it is a bit easier to move. So, um, yeah, I'm not quite sure how we should do it, but uh, I kind of want to make it easy to expand. All sort of sulfur in the future. So, should we just do a sulfur cell around here somewhere? Could do it in this one. Can't see an issue with doing that. But should we just do a sulfur directly into explosives? That will still need us to bring coal in. So I kind of want to do it some other way. And we could expand this one. To set up. But instead of going into these. It will just kind of go and do something else. How should we do this? A whole sulfur cell would produce a lot of sulfur. And, uh, yeah, I'm not trying to go into mega-based territory, but we could do an entire sulfur cell. But I'm quite afraid of how much room it's going to use. But, yeah, let's, let's just do that. I don't really mind. So, let's make a huge sulfur cell. But transporting the fluids in by pipe, at least for now. We'll make a bit of room for it in the future if we just try to go for it. But we can in theory just do this to free with outputs into a middle chest. So if you have a passive provider, maybe at the end of this produces two a second. So that means three of these. Or press these four, do a half a belt. So we could do loader loader and a passive one as a, oh wait we can't do that because it only needs an input we can do four and then a loader but what if we do this then this way you'll all output this way into a chest can we then do one of these on the outside as well so right here going the opposite way 
That should give us a full yellow belt at least. And I think it looks kind of cool. With something like this. So... Oh, we can't do it here. We'll have to do it in the middle. Or else we can't output correctly. So what if we do this, guys? I think this is a nice compromise. That should give us what equivalates to one red belt. With the output in the middle where we're not using it anyway. So that'll be loader, loader into this one. Limit it to, let's say, a row. And then this will be a, our setup. Can we just put it down here instead? Just like that. And then we just need to hook up what's it called our things and this can start to move. Uh, I just kind of want to get it lined up with the middle. It's not something that's necessary but it's something I normally do because I like the way it looks. Uh, I think this should, let's say, is this the middle? Oh, it's tight on the edge. So let's do it here. That gives us a bit of room on the side if we want to do something differently in the future. So now we just need to hook up petroleum and other things. And I think we'll do it here from this side. So petroleum will come in and connect up to these two. I have to go up one more so we have room for the water that's coming in. So we have water running here. We'll have petroleum running in there. Will this work as a way to do it? Mm, no, not quite because we can't get the water in here because of this one. Could take it up one more to make it a bit easier to, uh, to manage. So you can do this instead. And that way it should be able to connect up as we want. And you'll go out here. That means water... No, that's not gonna work. Because you'll have to connect up right there. So you'll do this instead. Or just move it out a bit more. Let's do this before we make some stupid mistake that we can't really control. This is the water. That'll be on the inside. Then we'll do you on the outside. Yeah, that seems good. And then you'll just continue up this way. To right there. The only place it can't be. <laughs> Oh, that is so silly. We can move you one to the right. That will solve that. And just go in here instead. I think that will be fine. So, there we are. That is all oil connected up. Then we just need water hooked in. I hate myself once in a while. Because look at that, I'll have to move it up one, just like we said before. Because that stupid water is in the way. Yeah, that should connect up correctly. And then we'll just have petroleum in all of these, same at the bottom. And then we just need to drag in some water. Have water pipe right here going into this one. And we should be able to siphon it off over here. Uh, what if we just do that? To get a water line in. Did it do something stupid again now? No, it didn't. Luckily. It's hard to say I would have been quite annoyed if I made some stupid mistake yet again. And it would be so much easier just using uh, our robots to transport all this around and to be honest I so want to do it but I also want to try and do something a bit differently with these uh, these pipes I kind of wish I had, had a good way of turning corners with it but since we have all these row ports here that's not really an option 
unless we just put one in the middle, but uh, I don't think that'll work as I wanted to. So there we go. That should be uh, two full belts of yellow into this one. Easy expandable. If you had to fly in what's called the water for this one and petroleum, that would be all that be. Two, one barrel every second. And on average, 1.2 barrels per second. So that will be quite a few flying in. So I'm actually quite nice, quite happy with this setup. And look how fast we're producing sulfur. So that is good. Next thing I want to hook up is what we did this for. And that's to make our explosives. That needs water as well. Luckily that is going through the pipes right here. So let's do a nice simple explosive setup. I'll do one I've done before quite a few times. So explosives are made in a chemical plant. That is not the hardest thing to do. So if we start right here, I'm just gonna check we have room for an input output. This one would be unbarreling when we do it in the future. Then we'll do it like this. We'll say we want to just make explosives. I would like to have a requester chest and a passive provider in here. I'd like to have one power pole, because then we can just flip it to the other side and have this one flowing in through. So this will be our setup we can use in the future. Limit all of them to one stack, just because I don't want to go completely overboard with this. But uh, in theory, this should work. I could use Lotus, but they do take one extra spot. I don't like that always, at least when it's not in bulk. So we'll just go with our normal inserters. In, 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 out, 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 out. So that will give us all the explosives we need, which is uh, probably what's going to happen right now. So let's try this, see if it will work as intended. We'll just have robots flying in things. So that'll be our sulfur cell. This will be our explosive cell. <laughs> Maybe a bit overkill having an entire cell for that. But that is what we're doing right now. And if we're using robots, it shouldn't be an issue. Oh, they're right there. So, um, oh yeah, you need water in. Of course, I made room for a future expansion of robots. So there we go. That is probably going to be all the explosives we need. And now that we have this, we should be able to go up and set up a simple explosive shell production in um, in our lab. And, not in our lab, in our mall. And then we can actually do artillery shells. Should we do it somewhere else? In a cell? where we have everything with direct insertion. One every eight seconds, this needs four. Oh, that's fine. So, firstly, I want to get this one up and running. We have everything we need. So let's just do it an easy way. How does it look up here right now? Uh, right here. We have enough, we have one empty spot there we can actually do it in. We could, in theory, just do a simple setup the first time, and then when we need to do, use it in bulk, we will uh, do it somewhere else. So what if we just do this? We need pretty much three setups. So, let's see here. One, two, three, four. I'll just move it afterwards. And the three things we need is one, we need artillery turrets. We'll need, let's not use this one yet. We'll need artillery shells. That is gonna be explosive cannon shells. And we'll need artillery shells. I'm guessing this is gonna blow the biters to smithereens. And that is exactly what I want. The rest is being made in the mall already. So let's keep it that way. And this one can be made as well. Do we have a fourth thing we want to put in? Now that we are looking at it. 
anything exciting. That one I can make myself. Could be about time we set up ammo piercing rounds just to get some made because the biases are getting quite, uh, quite aggressive and it might not be a bad idea getting that set up where uh, they try to attack us the most, the most even. Same range, more damage. Actually, not that much more damage. But uh, yeah, let's just do the let's do one. One armor piercing, and it will limit you to uh, limit. Let's do one row, so we have some. And this will be what we set up in terms of getting uh, things flowing. So our robot's gonna go a bit crazy. I'll have to move this quite quickly. There we are, and place it in up here. And that will give our robot something to do. And that will start to make artillery turret that we can just place down at our wall. And then we'll start to blow all of this up, getting rid of all of these biters. So that is going to be, uh, be quite nice that we don't have to go out there and do a catastrophe like we did last time, where I somehow got myself eaten. That is uh, <laughs> never good. Uh, Science-wise, things are going fine as well. Don't know why our biolabs not being made. We're pretty much just missing uh, bio things. Oh, of course, I have it all. But we do need to make a lot more or go out and take some from the biters. They should all three start to work. Oh, we've got to expand both sides here, didn't we? Thank God I didn't uh, end this episode before I fixed this mistake. Otherwise, you guys would have been uh, <laughs> hounding me for a while for forgetting something as simple as that. There we go. Yeah, we will need to, uh, to get some better ammo at some point down here as well. Because this is not keeping up, so we'll have to make whole cells dedicated to uh, to taking care of these. I'm just gonna go up and drop this into um, our mall because now this is at least hooked up correctly, so we can get the rest of them produced. Oh, let's look at they're yeah, quite strong. Yeah, it's either this or we'll have to go with. Um, laser turrets as well. So that was that research. That gives us our power armor. That means we'll have to make a few things to get that to work. Could quickly make it in our mall as well. Or at least go and set it up. And we should probably get some Kovarex enrichment as well. I don't know how much we have stored at the moment, but I'm guessing it's going up there. Look at that, a railgun turret. That sounds amazing. I'm looking forward to trying that. Uh, what else do we need? Personal road ports could be nice to have. If we have to go outside and get the robots to help us pick things up. Faster belts. Yeah, not the worst. Oh yeah, add in the Mark II miners as well after I updated. Not that I'm going to use them right now. Energy shield would be good, so that doesn't happen. What else? Oh yeah, let's get this one. It's not needed right now, but uh, then I have the research done, and we can go into solar, or advanced solar at least, and other things, including military. Oh, what is this? Impulse rifle, rocket launcher. That's quite cool. So we'll just keep our research going. We should have, oh, sorry about that. We should have uh, more than enough uh, resources flowing in. Or at least I hope I do. So far it looks uh, quite nice down in my boss. Even though I'm doing uh, a bit of research. So let's see if I can remember what I had to do. Oh yeah. I drove up here to put in the biomass. Please take that. That should craft the rest of those we need. That means I don't need them anymore on me. Don't need you anymore, and don't need glass anymore. Let's also set up a bit of production just to get um, what we need for um, a 
a power armor. Because we should have the Mark II ones up and running. So let's just do two of them. One, two, one, two. And we sh could probably just set up um, Productivity 2 as well. One, two, to get it into our labs. This is going to cost us a bit of resources, but that is fine. This is going to probably going to be not needed since we have uh, so much uh, being produced uh, down here. Have 50 already stored up. So there we are. That's going to give us what we need for, uh, for that in the future. And I'll just kind of leave it here. Uh, could give it a small upgrade to speed it up. Because I think we already have them in storage. The next tier ones. Or am I mistaken? Or I might have thought about that in some other uh, let's play. Oh well, we'll just leave it for now then. There we are. And what just did there? Upgrade planner. Hold down shift. It goes blue instead of red. I mean, you can cancel things. It works the same way with uh, deconstructing. Do a deconstruct planner. You can hold on shift as well. So if I deconstructed this, I can hold on shift and get it away again. If I'm fast enough before the robots get here. So uh, this will slowly make what we need for um, a power armor. Or artillery turrets are done. Or ammo. It's not really being made yet. We still need a few. Oh, we need radars. I was quite sure we were making those already. Guess I was wrong. So let's just get you up and running. There we are. Oh, wow. Oh, slow down. <laughs> that was quite a large request there. Don't need to craft them that fast. So that gives us radars, that will give us our first ammo. And then I kind of want to fire off one shot. Let's give me one of you. Let's see the range. Oh, I can't see the range for our place down, I'm guessing. I was quite sure it had a lot bigger range than that. That feels quite small. <laughs> oh yeah, never mind. I'll have to make one of these. Now I'll show you what I mean. Look at this, guys. So this is normal range. Boom. <laughs> Seriously. Can I hit all that from inside the main of my... <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for you, Vitus. I have these at my borders to take care of expansion of Vitus. You have to try that. And then I can pretty much just bombard them from everywhere. So uh, this is what I'm going to do. Now we have ammo being made at a nice speed not sure how much they stack to but uh, the last thing this episode that's gonna be called probably artillery turrets or something like that death from above i don't know we can do a request a chest just putting it right here on the side doing an inserter right here maybe giving it a big power pole to make it a bit easier to place down and then in theory we can do this. Please request. Oh, guys, we're gonna do our first artillery shot. I'm gonna do it from in here and uh, not uh, put at the edge yet. Uh, do you? 25, are you insane? Uh, should we just give five to each of them? I think five might be good. Or 10. Let's do 10. It's being requested. That'll drop into these. That means we have ammo. Let's do five because they can store quite a lot in it as well. Oh, it stacks up to five. Okay, so we have 15 now in each of these you place down. So um, let's try this. Can't. Oh, look at that. I can't do any in here. That's zero. But here, out here, we have one. Uh, what should we try and hit? These one over here have been annoying us for bits. Or maybe the ones up here that's sending out bites So let's try and hit 
Let's try and hit whatever is right there. Look at this. Boom. Ha <laughs> ha. God, I love when we get artillery. It is some of the best times. Uh, I know. Oh, look at the little guys. They're just standing around. <laughs> oh, no. So let's just secure... I wonder if we can blow up all of these with one shot. Oh, the friends are not happy. And if we kill off this one shot, that would be insane. Oh, they have a nice big radius. So uh, what I want to do... Let's just uh, put him down right now. Or do it first things next episode. We'll pretty much place these at the corners. Because if you look at the manual range, it's not that great. But it will keep anything from expanding too close to us. And uh, that will be fine. Other than that, we have just things in here that can shoot out and destroy what we need. Uh, for now... Let's just keep one here. We can uh, can play with a bit. Oh, let's be honest. Let's save a blueprint. Copy you into a blueprint book. Let's call it. Cursor two, v one. And the reason why I called it version one is that when I put it into right here. I can easily see which one I have and uh, what's, which one's the older one. And then I kind of want to move this somewhere else and get him to, uh, to auto fire at will. So that means I'll cut you and maybe just right here in the middle to attack whatever enemies we have up here. We'll do one here as well. Can I figure that out? Oh, we can't. Oh, we can. Then we'll do one, let's see here, there we are. We'll do one at this border as well. Look at that, that's gonna hit these. Let's do one here in the middle. I just want to curve some of them. Let's do one here. Do one down here. And over here. That should give us at least some coverage. Look at that, all the things inside range. Is this getting ammo? Where's that? There it is. First shot. And now we pretty much have an automat automatic system. Killing biters around the world. And clearing out whatever is too close to us. And making sure they don't get too close with expansion. This one is getting covered as well. And the rest are getting... Oh, this one is getting annihilated. So when you get back ne next episode, I have a feeling that a lot of these might be uh, be gone. Or if not, that... Uh, then we'll see them blow up in the course of that episode. Right now, the ammo is at least being made to, uh, to take it out. So um, as you watch the last shot go off this episode and watch some biceps get blown up. Do remember to uh, give this uh, episode a like. And uh, if you're new to the channel or just haven't clicked subscribe yet, please uh, do it if you would be so kind. That will help me out a lot. And I know only about 5-10% of you uh, do it. So um, let's see if we can get those numbers up. That will mean a lot to me. So uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I've been D-Gray, and I'll see you next episode. Bye.